hello guys once again welcome back to another android app development tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to use data binding libraries in our android application so the data binding library is a support library that allows us to bind ui components directly to its data sources from the layout itself so by doing so we can avoid repeated calls to find the view by id method also by using data binding library we can improve the app performance by avoid memory leaks also we can avoid many null pointer exceptions so in this video i'm going to demonstrate how to implement data binding library in our android studio project also how to use data binding layouts and how to use data binding objects so we can begin with the new android studio project So here our project is ready. So the data binding library is available through the Android support repository. So first step we have to check whether the support repository is installed or not. For that go to Android SDK, go to SDK tools and here is the support repository and you have to make sure that the Android support repository is installed. So in my system it is already installed. So if it is not installed you have to install it. Okay. So now the Android uh, data binding library available with my Android SDK. So now I need to add the data binding library to this Android Studio project. For that, open uh, module level credit file. Uh, within this Android element, I'm, I'm going to add something called uh, data binding enabled equal to true. Okay, so this will enable data binding for this project. Now sync project. Okay, so here the Gradle finishes. That means data binding is successfully added to this project. So first here I am going to create some uh, data class. So create a class called uh, contact in that class I'm going to create some variable first name and last name okay so now I'm going to add some constructor for this class create a constructor with these two parameters okay so this is the data class we are going to use with the data binding library so this class is used with the data binding library so there is no need to specify getter and setter methods the data binding library will take care of it okay so now I'm going to configure a data binding layout so open our layout file So this is a normal layout file. Now I'm going to convert this layout into a data binding layout. Okay. So um, if you want to convert a layout into a data binding layout, the first step you have to make sure that the root view of that layout must be a layout tab. So before here the root element is a constraint layout. So I'm going to copy the needed XML namespaces from it. So here I modify the root element of this layout into a layout, a layout tag. So that is the first step of converting a normal layout into a data binding layout. Okay. After the layout tag, you have to specify another tag called the data. So the data tag contain a variable that is used in this layout. So now we have to specify a variable. So for the variable you have to specify two properties name and type so here i specify the name into contact now specify type 
type means the class that represents this variable. So here the class is conduct. So this is the variable. Okay. So now, uh, now you can place the actual uh, road to view for your layout. So here the actual road to view is a constraint layout. So for my convenience here I am going to change the actual root element of this layout into a linear layout. Now specify an orientation for this layout. Uh, layout margin. Okay. So now in this uh, linear layout, I am going to place two text views for display first name and last name. And go with text size into 20 dp. Uh, text style into bold. Uh, layout margin top into 20 dp okay so now i'm going to specify text for it so for the text i'm going to use some data binding expressions so you can use the data binding expressions in your layout by using this symbol you have to use an at symbol and use a curly bracket and within this curly bracket you can write your data binding expressions so for text here I am going to use uh, first name property of this variable contact. So contact dot uh, first name. So in the same way I am going to display the last name. So here change property into last name. So now here the uh, data binding layout is ready for converting for creating a data binding layout the root element must be a layout the root element the layout uh, followed by a data tag in that data tag you have to specify variable and this is the format of representing a data binding expressions within your layout okay so now we can create the uh, data binding object so open main activity so you can create the data binding object at the time of inflate the layout so this is the uh, statement that inflate the layout So uh, when you create a data binding layout, when you compile it, the Android system will create a binding class in the background. So here the uh, layout name is activity main. So the binding class name will be activity main binding. So we can access that class name in our main activity. So the class name will be activity main binding. I name it as activity main binding uh, data binding util uh, set content view first parameter is the activity second parameter is the layout resource activity main okay so now we have the data binding object so now we can set data we can set the data for the data binding object for that first I'm going to create some object of contact class First parameter is the first name and second parameter is the last name. Okay, so now we can add this information to the data binding object. So activity main uh, main binding dot uh, set conduct and pass the conduct. So now we can run the project. So now the project available on this virtual device. So here is the first name and last name. So this is how we implement data binding library in our Android Studio project. And this is how we create a data binding layout and data binding object. I hope you understand the concept of data binding library. 
For getting more Android tutorial updates, please subscribe this channel now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.